By the way, my name is Jasmine, and now let me introduce you to our two high friends together with our trainers one at a time. On your left side is one of the youngest females in South America tonight that we have. And according to our trainer, she is the smartest. Oh, confident. Her name is Yeni, together with trainer Eric. Say hi. While on the other side is also one of the youngest females in South America tonight. Say hello. hello. Now let's continue. So guys, do you have any idea why they're called fin or better put it marine mammals? Any idea? Do they have feathers? So well, let's ask them. Do you guys have feathers? The answer is no. It is actually because of their front flippers, which are shaped like a bird's wing. See those? The term pinnipeds may also be translated as a wing footed since their flippers to look somewhat like wings. In fact, they appear to be flying underwater as they swim from place to place, right? We are getting we are getting and they're often mistaken as seals because they look very much alike. But some differences between a seal and a sea lion is the fact that they are the front flippers. As they can also turn their back flippers, something seals cannot do. As a result, they can walk upright, walk on land. It's long and flexible neck. How flexible? Well, check the beast out. <laughs> oh, so flexible, right? How about another round of applause for our sea lion friends? As you can see, their body is covered with a thin coat of short, coarse hair, and their whiskers have the sea lion sense of touch. It contains the fibers which make them sensitive. Wow, nice no answer, girls. Hey! They may also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibrations for playing into water. And there's the ball that's turning on the ears to give them a good sense of hearing, both above and below the water surface. Sea lions and many marine mammals can see well both above and under water. They have a keen eyesight, but no color vision. In the wild, they inhabit the waters below the shores, collect the rocky cliffs with typhoons, and they have a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities that can easily scale rocky cliffs. Well, check that out. Truly a strong front flipper. And now let's talk about their swimming abilities and let's start with Tyra. Sea lions generally cruise around 11 miles per hour using the rowing movements of their front flippers. While their back flippers are stretched out behind their bodies, functioning as rudders before steering. That is their normal swim. Nice and easy. Thank you so much, Ira, for the wonderful demo. But when chasing their prey or escaping from predators, they can achieve a bird speed of up to 25,000 per hour! That is truly a thousand swim now! How about a round of applause for the Annie does the more, girl? I think Annie does really impressive. Oh, nice gloves. Oh, another one, please. She should have finished it. So here's an interesting story for you about the sea lions. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part of their special operations? Yep, that's right. They're able to hold their breath for up to 20 minutes and they can dive 100 to feet. Abilities that even the best Navy divers would be envious of. And since they cannot be detected by radar underwater, they're taught to recognize and avoid underwater mines. <laughs> Join our sea lion friends when they 
salute. In the count of three, everybody will salute. And let's make this one loud, okay? For you. Come on. Well, sea lions are also used to search and recover equipment from the water.